Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Today, our focus will be interactive sentence building. Let's get started. Materials. The only materials that you will need for today's lesson is your thinking cap. Get ready. We have three learning targets for today's lesson. The first learning target says, I can match words that rhyme by the sounds I hear. The second learning target says, I can point to each word in a poem as I read it. The third learning target says, I can create a new rhyming word by changing the first sound. Word work. Let's fish for a rhyme. Remember, use your body to imagine that you are holding a fishing pole. Time to cast your line. We caught a word. This word is pen. Which word rhymes with pen? Is it cup, rug, or hen. Right, hen rhymes with pen. They both have the N sound at the end. Pen, hen. Let's go fishing again. We caught a word. This word is dig. What word rhymes with dig? Is it run, pig, or fox? Pig rhymes with dig. They both have the ig sound at the end. Pig, dig. Nice listening. Read aloud. Here's a new poem for us to enjoy called The Day the Vowels Went Away. But it looks like some words are missing. Let's see if we can figure out what those words are. All the writers were sad. They felt so blank. The day the vowels went away. The readers all fled right back to blank. The day the vowels went away. All the books hid, that's what they blank, the day the vowels went away. The words had to run, they had lost all their blank, the day the vowels went away. Word work. All the writers were sad. They felt so, hmm. Which word rhymes with sad and also makes sense in the sentence? I think bad would fit. It makes sense in the sentence because when we experience sadness, it feels bad. And Bad has the ad sound at the end, just like sad, and they rhyme. How can we figure out which word is bad? We can start by looking for the word with the b sound at the beginning and with an ending that sounds like ad. The first word starts with the b sound, but it doesn't have the ad sound at the end. This word has the ig sound at the end. This word is 
big. This word has the sound b at the beginning and it has the ad sound at the end. This could be our word. Let's check the last word just to be sure. This word has a J at the beginning. That makes the J sound. That's not the B sound. This word is jug. Our word bad is in the middle. Let's do our thumb finger tap just to make sure. B, A, D, bad. Let's read it and see if it fits. All the writers were sad. They felt so bad. I think it fits. The readers all fled right back to, hmm, which word rhymes with fled and also makes sense in the sentence? I think the word might be bed. Bed makes sense in the sentence and it has the ed sound at the end like fled. They rhyme. How can we figure out which word is bed? Right. We need to start by looking for the word that has the b sound at the beginning and the ed sound at the end. This word has an h at the beginning, like house. That's not the b sound. This word is hat. This word has the letters CH at the beginning. That's a digraph that says CH. That's not the B sound. This word is CHIP. This word has a B at the beginning. This has to be our word, bed. Let's double check with our finger tapping. B, E, D, bed. Let's read it and see if it fits. The readers all fled right back to bed. All the books hid. That's what they. Hmm. Which word rhymes with hid and also makes sense in the sentence? I think the word might be did. It makes sense in the sentence. And it has the id sound at the end, like hid. So they rhyme. How can we figure out which word is did? Yes, we must look for the word that has the d sound at the beginning and the id sound at the end. This word has the letter D at the beginning. D, D, like dog. 
and it has the id sound at the end. This could be our word. Let's check the other words just to be sure. This word has an M at the beginning. Mmm, like mountain. That's not the D sound. This word is met. This word has the letter G at the beginning. G like goose. That's not the d sound. This word is get. Our word did is the first word. Let's make sure by doing our finger thumb tapping. D, I, D, did. Let's read it and see if it fits. All the books hid. That's what they did. The words had to run. They had lost all their... Hmm. Which word rhymes with run and also makes sense in the sentence? Okay, I think the word might be fun. It rhymes with run. It has the un sound at the end. And it makes sense in the sentence. How can we figure out which word is fun? We must look for the word that starts with the f sound and ends with the un sound. This word begins with the letter M, like mountain. Mmm. That's not the f sound. This word is ma. This word starts with the letter T, like turn, t. That's not the f sound. This word is ten. This word starts with the letter F, f like flamingo. And it has the un sound at the end. This is the word fun. Let's double check with our finger thumb tapping. F, uh, mm, fun. Let's read it and make sure it fits. The words had to run. They had lost all their fun. Let's read our poem, The Day the Vowels Went Away. One more time. Maybe you can even see and hear the beginning sounds in some of the words. All the writers were sad. They felt so bad. The day the vowels went away. The readers all fled right back to bed. The day the vowels went away. All the books hid, that's what they did, the day the vowels went away. The words had to run, they had all lost their fun, the day the vowels went away. Closing Reflection When we match rhyming words, what part of the word are we listening to? The ending. Thank you for helping me to finish our poem today. See you next time. Bye.